Hey everyone, it's Melissa with Yay Earth Hunt and Health and today I am going to show you the seeds that I have started. Uh, it's February 1st and it is snowy and we just had the polar vortex here in central Illinois so it is cold. Uh, it's actually going to be in the 30s today so um, woo a little bit warmer but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm starting because um, I'm just ready for this cold to be out of here. So I wanted to get some green stuff growing in here. And we grow our seeds in the house. We don't have any grow lights, so um, it is a little bit tricky um, just putting them in the window. We, we do have to turn them about every day. And I do have some grow mats for some some heat underneath so that helps a little bit so um, I don't think I mentioned in the earlier video when I was going through the seeds that we are in central Illinois right at the top of zone 6a and at the bottom of I believe I believe it's 5b and 6a just like right in the middle so that's what zone um, we're in so there's Axel. <laughs> so just to give you guys a reference of, you know, where we're at. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you some of the seeds that um, have already sprouted, uh, have already germinated. And then I will um, list s some of the seeds off that I'm getting ready to plant. And we'll go from there culinary herbs a little bit earlier um, parsley cilantro stevia um, basil I got a new basil to try this one is cinnamon basil and this is Tulsi holy basil and I'm gonna attempt to dry them and make some tea when they start going but they just started popping so did the stevia and the um, parsley just barely you could see a little a few little green sprouts there basil's doing pretty good like i said um, especially the cilantro you can definitely tell how it grows to the light so um i just turned it around this morning so that one is yeah you really have to be on it if you're not going to have it under a grow light to keep turning it so that it doesn't they don't all grow in one in one direction and not up all right we got some other ones here and these seed trays I'm not thrilled about they were just on clearance so I grabbed them they had the discs of um, starter soil like the coconut fibery stuff that you add water to and um, I, don't, I, I won't buy those again but you know you live and live and you learn so those just started popping but I feel like I will probably just forego the little cells all together next year and just start with probably the four inch by four inch I think that's what size they are just the little the bigger squares that way I don't have to do as many transplants because obviously I mean it's only February 1st and they might be in here a while we don't have a greenhouse yet so um, I'm gonna have to transplant them hopefully not more than once but I just couldn't wait I was just ready to plant something so I have a few you know onions that I planted my peppers because they seem to take forever um, bell peppers um, another uh, basil the strawberry I got some strawberry seeds so they just barely started poking out um, and then just some a couple medicinal herbs uh, lavender chamomile spilanthes and hyssop are um, starting to sprout so I'm excited about those I'll have to go through and um, especially these right here pull out you know most of them because there's too many in there but that just means they germinated really well so here's another tray that I'm getting ready to do I have everything ready to go I put water in the bottom like I said I'm not thrilled about these types of trays but um, it'll work so I got all of the 
sticks in with the names that way I can keep track of everything and these are pretty much the rest of my medicinal seeds that I am getting ready to start so I'm gonna go ahead and plant these obviously seeds are small so we are going to try and only put you know a couple in each cell but sometimes you get more obviously like you know some of those have like six or seven so I'll have to pull some of those out but um, this is Ella Campaign so I mean they're a little bit bigger you can kind of see we can focus on that so we'll just put I'm just gonna do three cells of each because um, I've never grown this many medicinal seeds and I don't really know how much I need so I'm just gonna do like I said, I'll just put two in each little cell and just barely cover. You know, you don't want to go down too deep. So, and I, like I said, I pre-watered the soil. That way you don't have to go in and disrupt the seeds with water um, after you put the seeds in. So I'm just going to do three three cells, just, you know, two or three little seeds in each one, and that's it. Now usually the rule of thumb is um, you plant the seeds like a depth of however three times thicker than the seed itself, but I mean some of those seeds are so tiny, I mean you barely just have, just barely cover them and just, you know, tamp it the, the soil down over it and I mean it should be fine and obviously I'm gonna keep my little package here with the rest of the seeds and of course the instructions this says it's flowers the Ella campaign flowers to five feet um, barely cover seed tamp in firmly keep warm moist and light until germination which occurs in about 12 days and obviously some a lot of these are different germinations but a thinner transplant to one or two feet apart that's pretty much what I'll need um, for when I transplant outside so I'm gonna keep on going and All right guys, I got all my seeds in and they're nice and warm because I'm going to put them on the, in the window on a grow mat so they keep toasty. I got actually everything in except for the passion flower because I forgot to um, soak those in water. You're supposed to nick them and soak them in water for a few days and then put them in. So I'm going to do that and then I'll get those in and I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching.